Glad to have you joining us on the newsroom. I am Simisola Adigun, and these are trending headlines at this time. President Mohamedou Buhari has asserted that while the All Progressives Congress, APC, worked hard to retain power in the 2023 elections, the combined opposition were a victim of overconfidence. President Buhari spoke at the State House when he received the Progressives Governors Forum, led by the Chairman and Kebi State Governor Atiku Bagudu. The President charged the Progressive Governors to stick together and openly address issues among themselves. The chairman of the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, NITCOM Abike Dabiriyerewa, has said that the first batch of evacuees from war-torn Sudan will arrive in the country on board an Air Peace airline on Friday. While giving an update from the presidential villa Abuja on the efforts made so far by the federal government to evacuate Nigerians from Sudan, Abike also said more than 3 million Nigerians are living in Sudan and arrangements are being concluded to airlift all Nigerians that have already escaped on their own to safety in other countries neighboring Sudan. Alleged terrorist negotiator Toko Mamo has been denied bail by the federal high court in Abuja. The court, in a ruling that was delivered by trial justice Eyang Ekwo, said it was persuaded by a counter affidavit the Department of State Services filed to oppose Mamou's request for bail. Justice Ekwo held that, among others, Mamou's application was without merit and that the applicant failed to provide sufficient materials to move the court to exercise its discretion in his favor. The World Health Organization, WHO, says COVID-19 deaths have dropped by 95% since the start of the year, but warned that the virus was still on the move. WHO Chief Tedros Ghebreyesus at a press conference said that despite the drop in the number of deaths, COVID-19 was here to stay and countries would have to learn how to manage its ongoing non-emergency effects, including post-COVID conditions or long COVID. Tedros reiterated that the WHO remained hopeful of declaring an end to COVID-19 as a public health emergency of international concern. In business, revenue generation by indigenous energy company Seplat Energy PLC has grown by 37% to, to $331 million in the first quarter of 2023 compared to $241.8 million in the first quarter of 2022. This was disclosed in its unaudited results for the three-month ended March 31, 2023, which was filed by the Nigeria Exchange Limited on Thursday. The company's financial performance revealed that gross profit surged by 69% to $198.3 million from 117.3 Naira at the margin of 60% compared to 48% in the first three months of 2022. Now at least 12 people have been killed and several injured after Russian forces attacked cities and regions across Ukraine, including the capital, Kyiv, in a series of nighttime air raids. Rescue workers are still searching for survivors hours after the first large-scale assault in months. President Volodymyr Zelensky has issued a statement on Telegram that the Russian terror must face a fair response from Ukraine and the world. In sports, Qatar has been named host of the 2027 Men's Basketball World Cup on Friday, burgeoning its reputation for staging major global sports events. This was announced by the International Basketball Federation FIBA on Wednesday. Qatar hosted the Men's Football World Cup in November to December and will now stage basketball's showpiece tournament for the first time. All matches will be held at existing venues in the capital, Doha. And that's the latest on the newsroom at this time. Do stay on for more stories. Thank you for watching.